Okay, not in the shed today, inside. Um, trying to sort out the audio on this GoPro. Uh, seems okay for recording, sorry, in this situation, in a small room. Uh, but I've found, or I've noticed, that when I've been outside in the workshop, um, the sound hasn't been that, that brilliant. Uh, I'm relying on the internal microphone which apparently is not very good on these now you can buy GoPro uh, official GoPro microphone adapters but they're apparently pretty expensive so I had a little hunt around on the internet and uh, seems like you can make one fairly easily so I think that's what I'm going to have a go at so I've got this little cheapy clip on microphone which I'm going to use uh, a small jack for that to fit into a stereo jack gold plated not that it needs to be but the only reason I got this one is because uh, I can put some heat shrink over it I think this is probably a little bit small but I've got some other bigger stuff so once I've actually finished I can heat shrink that onto that cable so it'll be quite a nice little neat connection hopefully uh, once I sort out <laughs> which wire which color wire in this cable does what this is a 10 pin and you need a 10 pin apparently a 5 pin will not do it this is a 10 pin mini USB connector uh, so you've got five across the top five across the bottom and this end is just a normal USB connector but as you can see it's quite a, it's a thicker cable there's obviously ten wires in there so I'm going to have to cut this and try and figure out which um, wire goes to which pin in here I've got a, a little bit of research and uh, I think these are the connections I need to make uh, which is mic in there's a left and a right there there's a ground I need and there's also a resistor it's got to go between this ID connection and ground Will actually, well, they actually show it to the fix of the frame of this, but I believe that is fixed to ground anyway. This is probably a shielded cable, yeah. So oh, I've got plenty of resistors, so I could dig one of them up. But first thing is going to be cutting this open and see if I can work out what goes where, or if I can find some color coding for this somewhere. Uh, then I can dig out a resistor and solder it all together and see if it actually works. Right, okay, so got this all together now. Uh, not quite finished, I've got to tidy this up, put some heat shrinks around everything. Uh, I've just got to test it first. Um, but just to show you what is inside this cable. Um, I've cut these some of these wires back so they're not going to be used so the only ones I'm using are the yellow blue and the internal ground that goes along with that um, and the black and the external shielding the ground shielding in here uh, yeah, so I'll just tidy this up. Well, actually, before I do that, I will uh, plug it in <laughs> and test it, make sure it is actually working. Uh, yeah, and then I can put the heat shrinks down and tidy that up and everything. So I'll just plug that in there. And obviously, at the moment, I'm on the internal the built in microphone on the GoPro. So I assume you can just plug this in on the fly. Uh, 
to plug this in, we should be on the on this one. Next turn the mic. So there we go. Plugged in now. Uh, don't know what the volume is going to be like. I'm probably about I don't know half a meter away, I guess. This is a little clip-on one. So normally it would be up there somewhere. So that should give an idea of what the volume is going to be like. Hopefully much better than uh, the internal one, which seems to be pretty rubbish really. Yeah, so... I'll unplug that again. I'll well, unplug it for now. Yeah, so back on the internal built-in mic. Um, yeah, I'll tidy this up. Do a little bit showing that. There we have it. Job done.